Welcome to Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. Well, uh, the topic uh, today is going to be state of politics, and uh, we are going to be uh, talking to one of uh, the veteran uh, senior members of the House of Congress, a three-time congressman, and on his way to the Senate in next year's election. And this is none other than our good friend, Suki Punatin, sa uh, Open House with Jerry Corneo ito, and in almost all media, uh, Congressman Teddy Casino. Uh, Teddy, welcome again. Thanks, Jerry. Okay, Teddy, you know, uh, a lot of people know you as a Bayan Muna Party List representative. Mm -hmm. Ayon, I think uh, some may know, but I am sure, ako, like me, I'm very curious about uh, your roots, diba? Saan ba nanggaling mga kasinyo? Saan ba nanggaling si Teddy Casino? I mean, let's, let's start from the very, very beginning, from, from day one. Una, una, uh, who were your parents and what were they like? Very interesting story yan. Um, ang father ko is uh, Amador Casino. He's a lawyer, graduated from UP, uh, batch 57. Uh, naging editor yan ng collegian, who was a member of fraternity Upsilon. Mm -hmm. Brad ni, ano yan eh? Brad ni Marcos at ni Ninoy. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, but uh, during that time, uh, the frontier area was, win was Mindanao. So, naisip niya, imbis na mag-practice ng law, punta sa Mindanao to, you know, sa Davao, uh, para makipagsapalaran. Doon naman niya na-meet yung mother ko. Y my father comes from Quezon. Yung mother ko naman, galing Aklan. So, mm. Luzon, yung isang Visayas, nagkita sila sa Mindanao. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Both looking for adventure, probably, mm. uh, uh, yung uh, frontier area. That was in the 1960s. So, nagkita sila doon, nag-asawa nag sila, they had kids. Doon ako pumasok. You were so number? We were, so, I was born in Davao, the third, the third, third of out their of? Uh, five children. Ah, okay. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Davao ko pala pinanganak? Davao ko pinanganak, okay. but I consider Aklan and Quezon as uh, my provinces because that's where my parents mm. come from. But um, when I was uh, six years old, we left Davao. Mm. Napunta na kami sa Maynila. Uh, so yun. And, and we lived a pretty much uh, ordinary life, uh, family. Yung parents ko talagang nag, uh, nagsipag, no? And, and they did everything para kami ay makapag-aral. Of course, my dad, hindi na siya nag-practice ng law, eh. Mm. Nag-ahente siya ng, uh, may, I, I'm sure, narinig mo na ito noon, yung DRB, Del Rosario Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, so right, was, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, connected siya dyan. Mm. And then, ang mother ko naman tried, uh, was formerly with that, pero eventually, nagpatakbo ng isang canteen, mm. restaurant, and then, all kinds of uh, entrepreneurial activities uh, to augment the family income. Okay, what was uh, what was your education like? Ano bang unang uh, sa kanag-aral ng well, elementary, high I school? I was uh, very, very, ano ako, very um, uh, fortunate to have studied in, I, I think, the best schools. I started kinder sa Ateneo, mm -hmm. uh, sa Davao. Okay. Uh, after that, lumipat kami sa Aklan for a few years. Sa, sa elementary school naman ako, public school, no, Kalibo Pilot Elementary School. So, stayed there for grade 1 hanggang grade 2. So, maroon ako magbisaya? Uh, gamay lang. Gamay. Uh, uh, Aklan on, actually. Yeah, uh. And then, after that, lumipat na kami sa Maynila. Uh, nagtuloy naman ako sa Lasal. Mm -hmm. Uh, hanggang ano na yon hanggang high school na yan, okay. Lasal Green Hills, and then UP Los Baños mm -hmm. uh, for college. UP so, Los, Los Baños? Oh. Los ba bakit Los Baños? Agriculture ka Agriculture or? ako eh, oh, okay. uh, originally. Mm -hmm. So, napuntahan ko lahat. Nakapag-Ateneo ko kahit isang taon lang. Yeah, yeah, the best public, schools. Public elementary school, right, and right. then Lasal, and mm -hmm. then Ateneo. Mm -hmm. Ah, and then uh, UP. Okay. UP Los Baños. So, and then you graduated with uh, what uh, uh, degree? Uh, AB Sociology. Oh, hindi na agriculture? Hindi na. Yeah. Nag-start ako sa okay. agriculture. Okay. Well, this was 1986. Mm. No? And we were all inspired na we had to do something for our country. Mm. So, naisip ko mag-aral mag ng agriculture kasi yung ating mga magsasaka nangangailangan talaga ng tulong. Uh, but when I was in, in first year uh, agriculture, uh, na-expose na ako sa issues ng mga magsasaka. Mm -hmm. no? And uh, doon ko na-realize na mukhang hindi agriculturist ang problema nila. It's not really technology. It's more structural, okay. no? yung uh, relations, land relations, etc. So sabi ko, hindi na lang siguro agriculture. Uh, Magsasociologist na lang ako to see what reforms can be done 
uh, not only for our workers but also for the basic sector. So when did you graduate college? Anong taon yun? Um, 93. 93? 93, oh. I see. So namulatan ka sa politika. Edsa. Panahon pa ni, panahon na ni, ano, Edsa Revolution na. Panahon ni Cory na. Yes, yes. Well, actually, yeah. Ninoy assassination. I was ah, in, okay. I was in um, se first year, or s second year high school, uh, 1983. Mm -hmm. And um, nagka-impact yun because I, I saw ano yung effect ng assassination ni Ninoy sa mga magulang ko, sa mga uncles ko, sa mga mas matatanda sa amin. Which was? Anong effect? Uh, ano talaga? Agitated mm -hmm. and they, they were saying na dapat matigil na itong... Uh, diktadura and natikman ko doon yung unang rally ko uh, that was when, when in was 1983 uh, ah, okay. September 21 ano yung high school ka indignation pa rally yan uh, I was in high school mm -hmm. sinama ako ng tatay ko with my two brothers we went to Liwasang Bonifacio and I saw it was a very very big rally mm -hmm. uh, biggest yata after the martial law declaration uh, so, yan, and then I, I would go to the Edsa, uh, no, to the Ayala confetti mm, rallies right. uh -huh. every Friday. Nandiyan ako, nanonood lang, just, you know, getting the feel of it. And I, I was starting to realize na medyo historical itong nangyayari. Uh, so, in experience ko, pati yung nagbabato kami ng confetti mula sa isang building. Until finally, in 1986, I signed up as a volunteer for NAMFREL. I was in fourth year high school at Lasal Green Hills. You know, the brothers were very much involved yes, uh, yes. at that oh, time. Oh, oh. Brother, headquarters brother, brother Rolly Dizon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, the late Rolly Dizon. Right, yeah. right. So, Jan, and then, uh, of course, uh, the, EDSA, the, the EDSA uprising right. came into oh. place. And that basically changed uh, my whole outlook of what politics was. So, medyo doon ka na talaga na politicize. Yes. Uh, uh, the EDSA revolution. Right, right. Doon ako tinamaan. At, at oh. sabi ko since then na... Uh, it, after EDSA, sabi ko, it, it can't be my normal, ordinary life from now on. Uh, parang ano eh, life-changing experience eh. Sabi ko, dapat may, may contribution ako dito sa nagaganap na pagbabago. Um, and it, I cannot just be uh, after my own personal ambitions. Uh, oh. So nag, naghanap ako ng lugar ko na makakatulong ako sa bayan. Very idealistic. No? S sinong uh, sinong naka-influences sa'yo at that time? I mean, was there any particular politician, family member? Uh, sinong parang naging role model mo? Or sinong naka-influences sa talaga Siguro yung mga brothers eh. The brothers uh, of Lasal? Uh, oh, kasi okay. very involved sila, very mm -hmm. passionate. Yung mga problema sa negros, yung kagutuman. Mm -hmm. And then, doon ko na nabasa sila Renato Constantino mm -hmm. and all these uh, progressive writers. Um, initially, wala naman akong balak pumasok sa politika at all. Mm. No? Uh, my, my first uh, ambition or uh, pangarap ko maging pari. Pwede pa. I <laughs> <laughs> Mukha okay. daw ako seminarista. I wanted to yeah. be a priest. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in high school. But uh, unfortunately, dun sa simbahan namin, may Legion of Mary dun eh. Yeah. Member ako doon. Mm -hmm. Eh, magaganda lahat ng mga kapatid. <laughs> <laughs> so, medyo okay. sabi ko, ayoko yata magpari. Yeah, yeah. No? No, but, but, but seriously, that was my, uh, I wanted to be a priest, but um, hindi natuloy. No? It was my brother eventually, yung eldest namin. Ah, talaga? So, so meron kayong pari sa pamilya? Oo, oh, oh, ano siya. Agustinian priest hmm. uh, sa Agustin dito sa Intramuros. Uh, so ako, na pagdating sa college, mas namulat ako sa politika and finally na-expose sa mga sectors. And from then, naging student leader, student journalist, uh, and that I never looked back since then. So what, uh, 15 years ako dyan sa ganyan, sa activism. Hindi ba, Teddy, meron mga kabataan, makabayan? Yun ang naalala ko during mm -hmm. the martial law years. Mm -hmm. yes. Tapos, uh, kailan pumasok itong bayan muna of which uh, naging, finally naging party list? Well, that, that came much, much later. Ah, okay. So anong um, mga student organizations or mga grassroots organizations na sinalihan mo noon na uh, were naging further politicized Ka and, you know, I mean, uh, na-expose ka sa mga issues. Sa, sa student hmm. paper talaga. As, which is uh, the UP? UPLB okay. perspective. Okay. I, I, I started freshman pa lang ako, pumasok na ako dyan, and then I eventually became, became editor-in-chief for two, for two terms. Uh, and alam mo naman sa UP eh, hmm. 
it's not just the usual student paper na puro mga tungkol sa love, friendship, oh, oh, and school. Oh. It's really about social issues. Oh, so we, we had oh. to go out of the university, write about the things happening around us. Doon ako na-expose. And then uh, I became a, a national president of the College Editors Guild. Ah, okay. This is the umbrella oh. group of, of all student right. publications. More than 700 student publications yan. Uh, this was in 1991 mm. until 94. And then after that, I graduated na ako sa college. But, but and, at that uh, time, marami ka nang rallying na sa Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Mga student, ano, student issues. Oh, oh. Uh, yung socialized tuition sa UP, mm. rising cost of education. Uh, and of course, all, also yung iba mga sectoral issues. Uh, struggle for land reform. Uh, itong mga nangyayaring... Uh, sa mga urban poor communities. Very, very much involved ako dyan. Uh, but mainly as a student journalist and mm. then later as a student, a student leader. Uh, it was only after I graduated from college, uh, nag-volunteer ako sa labor movement. Okay. And what labor movement? Uh, was well, this? Kilosang Mayo Uno. Okay. Uh, and um, doon ko na-meet sila ka Crispin Beltran yeah. and, and all these venerable uh, labor, labor mm. leaders. Mm and was exposed really yung, yung issues sa uh, workplace issues about uh, wage about uh, labor relations well, well, and I, I worked there for 4 years up to until 19, uh, 2000 uh, uh, 1999 okay matanong lang ano because i myself i'm not very aware of this but uh, nowadays uh, kahit no ano pag uh, marinig kong KMU or yung mga people would hear KMU laging ang uh, dating sa kanila is parang uh, it's a radical communist uh, group of which uh, totoo ba yun? I mean, it is uh, somehow inclined yeah. at becoming uh, to, uh, to the communist movement. Ganun ba yun? Well, yun ang tradition talaga ng mm. labor movement, I, okay. would, I would say, sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Especially sa KMU, yung brand nila ng militant unionism, militant trade unionism. And, uh, well, this is long historical roots. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang, ang point of view dyan is that uh, the working class is the parang uh, yun yung vanguard class, no? yun yung revolutionary class. And it's only upon uh, workers liberating themselves from their situation na uh, maliliberate din yung buong bansa. So it, it really tends uh, uh, towards radicalism, mm. yung uh, pagwewelga. Uh, but siguro mas intense, lalo na sa Philippine context, uh, siguro dahil yung the, the working conditions themselves are not really ideal. Uh, when I was with the labor movement, nagsisimula pa lang yung contractual hiring. Mm. This was a time that companies were shifting from permanent, ginagawa ng contractual. And there was a lot of uh, union busting going on. There was a lot of uh, unfair labor practices going on. Uh, at syempre, mga manggagawa naman, last resort is always the strike. Right. So I also was uh, exposed to several uh, big strikes um, ayun, ayun ang, ayun ang okay, so ko. would it be accurate to say or it be but, 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 uh, but of course that's that's what the public usually sees uh, uh. ang hindi naman nakikita ng publiko at ito alam ito ng marami mga manggagawa is that in the workplace it is the unions that really take care of, of the workers okay. no? kung may problema yung manggagawa uh, anything from family problems to problems with management uh, nandiyan ang union para tumulong and that's why unions are very important for uh, for the for the workers. Okay. Ngayon, uh, Ngayon lang ha, because right. of contractual hiring and all that. Parang ano eh, uh, hirap na hirap na silang mag magtayo ng mga union. Uh, ah, so right. Mga, Kasi wala nang masyadong mga permanent workers. Wala nang permanent workers. Right. Wala right. nang ano eh, there's wala nang uh, uh, you, you can be removed at any time. Right, right. Oh, oh. So wala nang bargaining ano eh, cloud oh. ang ang labor sa ngayon. Uh, except for a very few industries or very few companies, yes, yes. right? Ngayon na uh, Congressman Teddy Casino, would it be accurate to say then, or di ba ngayon meron tayong mga political correctness? I, I, but just tell me, I mean, is it would it be accurate to say that uh, ang political roots mo is uh, communist in nature? Well, left, left, uh, left, left of center. Okay. Yung communist that's uh, medyo 
underground na yan eh. Mara, ah, masabihin mo ng communist. Yan, armed, uh, Pero hindi ba kayo? But, but the left is basically uh, influenced by a lot of communist socialist ideas. Kasi like uh, your uh, mga kasama mo dati, or hindi, kasama mo hanggang ngayon, si na Casatur Ocampo, mm -hmm. si na former congressman Ocampo, former congressman, congresswoman uh, Lisa Massa. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba, I mean, uh, talagang communist movement ang pinasukan nila? Lalo pa si Casatur? Well, si Casatur, yeah. definitely. Right. Uh, he was really part of that. Mm -hmm. Pero alam mo naman na nung panahon ng anti-Marcos, everyone was a communist. <laughs> yeah, pag hindi ka, oh, pag hindi ka kampisa ka niya, komunist oh, na. Oh, oh, and, oh. and I think uh, halos lahat naman tayo nanggaling dyan sa tag na yan. Well, ginamit din ni Gloria Makapagal Arroyo yeah, yan during yeah, her time. Yeah. But, uh, uh, ako naman, uh, uh, these are labels. Right. You know, and it's very convenient to, to put on labels on people. Uh, but ako, I'd rather look at the platform. No? And mm. Bayan Muna, definitely, cannot consider itself as a communist party. But left-leaning? It's a left party, definitely. Okay. It's a progressive uh, democratic party. Okay. Uh, and definitely, there are a lot of influences from the socialist and communist uh, uh, movements. Um, but that's about it. No? And uh, para sa akin naman, importante yun eh, because uh, many of the ideals mm -hmm. of uh, uh, the socialists and the communists and the humanists, etc., are really very um, common sense, mm -hmm. uh, logical. No? Yung, yung dapat uh, the workers should share the just fruits of their labor. Uh, dapat yung mga farmers natin should uh, be given the right to own the land they till. No? These are so basic that you can even find them in our own constitution. Mm -hmm. The Bill of Rights, human rights, uh, the right to free expression, the right to a free... Press. So, Congressman Casino, is this the platform you used in your successful bid, or well, successful uh, tatlong beses nga na tumakbo sa Congreso? Mm -hmm. You've never lost an election. Mm -hmm. You know, three successive yan. That's why uh, yeah. n this is your ninth year. Well, t this is your ninth year or next year is your next ninth year? Next year is year? my ninth year. Ninth, yeah. years, ninth year tapos, eh, uh, kailan ang tapos ang term mo ba? Uh, well, uh, next year, 2013. No, what, what month? Um, uh, June. 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 So by then, you have no, well, you can't run for Congress anymore, barred by yeah. the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, uh, wala ka naman intention maging mayor or, <laughs> or governor. <laughs> the, now, uh, and you, I think you have declared that you will be running for the Senate. Yes. I yes. mean, uh, there's no doubt about mm -hmm. it. Ang pupuntahan mo na Senado. I, I think yeah. I'll be more effective in the legislate, legislative mm -hmm. branch. Kasi... Policy advocacy ang aking, ang aking uh, sabihin na nating niche. Mm -hmm. uh, pag executive ka kasi, you just execute what is already there, the laws that we have, etc. But I think um, sa mga advocacies ko for human rights, for, uh, for even for small businesses, uh, I'm the chair of the Committee on Small Micro uh, Businesses, um, it, it requires uh, amending or introducing new laws eh. Kaya mas komportable ako sa Kongreso. And of course, we have two houses, so I'm on my third term in, in the lower house. I think uh, the next step for me is to go to the upper house. Kasi Kung bagay, hinug na, hinug na. I, I would think so. No? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, nine years, no? Po, nine years. Yeah. Nine years ako in Congress, mm. and then 15 years in the Parliament of the Streets. Right. Uh, pushing for these advocacies. No? And I think uh, the logical step really is is uh, to proceed to, to the Senate. So basically, namulatang ka kay Marcos, tapos andyan na si Cory, si uh, President Ramos, mm -hmm. si Erap, si uh, Gloria, and now si Noy Noy Aquino. Yes. Ngayon, uh, you were involved, actively involved, in uh, the ouster mm -hmm. of uh, Erap Estrada. Not well, in many social movements, actually, oh. uh, from tapos the no, environment. Tapos no, naalam, na naalala ko, sinuportahan niyo si Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Well, she was the, <laughs> siya yung logical, oh, logical, logical oh. successor ni right. Erap, eh, oh, of uh, as vice, vice president. Right, right. But we were pushing as early as that time na sabi namin, uh, since EDSA 2 was also extra-constitutional in nature, mm -hmm. then the next government, uh, should be given the opportunity to really institute wide-ranging wide reforms. But uh, somewhere along the way, uh, the idea was in the uh, EDSA is still constitutional, so we still go with uh, Vice President Arroyo then. 
and then uh, intact lahat. So it was it became business as usual. Right. So nothing really happened as far as reforms. Pero uh, sandali lang yung honeymoon niyo ni Gloria Macapagalaw. I'm talking about Bayan Luna, yes, no? Yes, yes, yes. Buwan lang yan? Buwan lang. Kasi nga, ang, ang yeah. we were expecting that right. because, because of the uh, radical nature of her ascendancy to mm. the presidency, then she would be as radical. No? Yung mga, kung hindi man niya madeklarang revolutionary government mm. just like Cory did. Right, right. Then at least uh, have an agenda for sweeping reforms. No? But uh, we, we never saw that. And so, uh, a few months after she was catapulted to office, eh, nagiging critics na kami ng administrasyon. At saka tama ba ako, uh, Congressman Casino, na it was during the watch of uh, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo that uh, there were a lot of, uh, what do you call them, casualties na talagang namatay mula sa ranks ng mga ng, uh, bayan muna. Yes. Na either by the military, the police, or paramilitary, or kung sino man, or invisible. But actually, it was during uh, the ranks of... Uh, actually, oh. it, it started uh, as early as the first month that uh, bayan muna uh, won a seat, won, well, won three seats in Congress. Sino ba yung unang um, tatlo? Uh, Saturo Campo, okay. Crispin Beltran, and Lisa Mas. Ah, tama si uh, yeah. the late Crispin Beltran. Oh, right, sila tatlo. Nag, sila nag right, breakthrough oh. for us. Right. And I think... Um, some sections of our population felt that this was, uh, you know, felt that the left was uh, crossing over. No? Uh -huh. Parang from the, from the fringes and eh, napunta na sa mainstream uh -huh. politics. Uh -huh. and which was true. Which was true uh -huh. and they probably could not accept that. Okay. So ang nangyari, ang naging target na ng kanilang uh, campaign of annihilation were basically our leaders who were mm. really out in the open, uh, who were... Uh, doing their thing within the, the legal constitutional framework, mm. participating in elections, organizing in the communities. But because they were vulnerable, kasi ito, hindi nagtatago ito yung mga right, ito, right. hindi naman oh. sila armado, right. sila talaga yung tinamaan. And, and they were labeled as communists, they were labeled as uh, NPA sympathizers. And on that basis, they were, um, they were harassed, they were killed. And oh. uh, ang, ang bilang namin doon, by... Um, by the end of Arroyo's yeah. term, there yeah. were more than a thousand cases a thousand. of extrajudicial killings. Killings, patay ito, yes. hindi lang kinulong ito. Opo, opo. How about yung mga, meron pang mga political prisoners na, na nakulong? Iba pa yun, uh, more than 300, uh, 300. political prisoners. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, okay na ikulong, huwag naman patayin na. <laughs> yun na nga eh, yun, yun na nga yung sinasabi <laughs> right. namin palagi na, uh -huh. I mean, if you really suspect them to be supporting uh -huh. the, the rebel movement and they are doing anything illegal, then no, sa proseso. file the case in court. Oh, oh. Wag naman yung extrajudicial uh, More than actions. a thousand? Yes, yes. That's wow. why it, it was really a, a big um, issue for the international community. And you had the EU coming here, mm. Human Rights Watch, US based yan, uh, all these human rights, even the United Nations uh, Special Rapporteur came to the Philippines mm. because of the very. Alarming na? Uh, yes, alarming oh. human rights situation. Uh, and it, isa ito sa main issues na nilabas namin nung impeachment kay dating Pangulong Arroyo as early as, 19, uh, as, early as 2005. Okay, Congressman Casino, dito natin tapos itong segment na ito before we uh, move on. How about during the past two years of uh, President Noy Noy Aquino, yung mga extrajudicial killings ba yan? Tuloy o medyo nabawasan, lumala? Ano bang situation? Well, um, objectively, nabawasan, mm. but you know, one life... Numerically, na mabawasan. Yes, but you know, one uh. life is, is really more than enough no, to, uh. say, to say no. And uh, yun ang problema nga namin. The killings have continued, okay. probably not in the same scale and magnitude as pero tuloy pa the rin. former administration, pero nandiyan eh. And, and I think one life uh, wasted Definitely. Uh, uh. Through, through these kinds of killings is uh, not acceptable. Okay, now with that, uh, we will uh, get into other topics. You're getting to the Senate, and we will find out uh, why uh, uh, Congressman Teddy Casino would like to go to the Senate and what he will bring to the table pagdating na ron, or on, even on his way there, anong nagawa niya. Uh, this is Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or should be in the news, and we'll be back right after this. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Corneo, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or should be in the news. Ang topic po natin ngayon is uh, state of politics, and uh, we have one of the senior members of uh, the House of uh, Congress. He's been around for the 13th, 14th, and 15th Congress, tama yeah. ba? Parang di ko pa rin ma <laughs> matunawan dun sa senior. <laughs> okay. Of course, yeah, he's, one of, yeah. he's also one of the youngest. He's also one of the youngest, but uh, he is one of the most senior in the sense that uh, he's terms. already constitutionally barred from uh, seeking another term. <laughs> this is on his third term. He's never lost on elections, and right now he's going for a Senate seat. So uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there, you know, by now, nag-iisip-isip na kayo eh. Sino ba ang uh, kailangan iboto sa Senado? And right now, I mean, uh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, uh, we, uh, we know that uh, many uh, senator, uh, senatorial candidates are already positioning themselves. And, uh, pero mga talaga nag-announce na ng kanilang kandidatura, or they will be uh, running for the Senate, is of course our good friend here, si uh, Congressman Teddy Casino, Bayan Muna Party List Representative. So, Teddy, okay, so three years in, uh, I mean, three terms, three terms in Congress. You're going on your ninth year. Uh, what have you done? Ano bang report card mo? I mean, uh, of course, uh, let, let me ask you first, what kind of grade will you give yourself? Numerical, ha? Uh, kung 75 pasado, 100 perfect. Anong grade bibigay mo sa sarili mo? I mean, of course, you know, I mean, uh, of course you realize that your answer can win votes or can lose votes. So anong, anong, vote, uh, anong uh, grade bibigay mo sa sarili mo? Well, I, I could settle with 98, probably. 98? Yeah. Suma kong lao din. Kasi Jerry, ang, yeah. ang, ang work naman namin sa party list is basically to be the voice of the marginalized sectors. Mm. That's under the constitution, that's under the law. So we're talking about our farmers, our workers, uh, yung mga vendors natin, of course, the uh, the tricycle driver and the security guards, uh, excuse me, excuse me. fisher folk. Th these oh. are the kinds, pati women, pero, youth, and Pero hindi ba meron na mga... Other party list na doon daw sila nakakonsentrate sa mga fisher folk, meron doon, di ba? Yes, yes. May mga sectoral parties. No? Kami, we are a multi-sectoral ah, national party. Ah, okay. There you go. Multi-sectoral yes. ang tawag sa bayan muna. Yes, but, but right. basically that's what the party list is, is ah, supposed okay. to do. Ah, you know? ah. And even yung mga malilit na negosyante is, is still part of our constituency. Okay. So, ang, ang, ang assessment ko, uh, since 2004, I have been, I think, effective in, in bringing out their issues in Congress. No? And uh, yun naman ang, doon naman kami tumatak talaga, sabayan muna, in all the committee hearings that we attend, even in plenary, we always make sure that uh, the point of view of the constituencies who we represent are always reflected. And we have, I think, we have raised the level of debate in the House uh, to include precisely the concerns of these uh, marginalized sectors. Now, of course, in terms of legislation, in terms of uh, republic acts, uh, ang masasabi ko sa sarili ko, may apat ng batas na, na author ako na naging batas. No? And, Marami ba yun in eight years? Uh, I would think so. No? Because uh, sa dami namin, there are more than uh, 6,000 bills filed every, every term. Okay. Yeah, so uh. I think good batting average na yung naka-apat po ako. Uh, first of this was the uh, Public Attorneys Act of 2007, first mm -hmm. term ko yan, where we increased the number of lawyers uh, under the Public Attorney's Office, mm -hmm. mga, mga 400 yan, and then pinantay namin sa mga piskal yung ating mga PAO. So ngayon, nagkaroon na ng career path ang mga Public Attorney's Office. So malaking tulong yan in providing free legal services to our poor, uh, poor constituents. Okay. Secondly was the Rent, uh, the rent Control Act. No, we extended the uh, cap on rent increases for low-income renters. Um, kasama ho yung mga nagda-dorm, nagbe-bed space dyan. Uh, third was the uh, tax relief for minimum wage earners, uh, where we exempted yung mga minimum wage earners down from paying withholding tax. Uh, that would ma-augment nila yung kanilang uh, daily income. And then the anti-torture law, uh, which basically penalizes torture uh, done by police and military uh, officers uh, on, on suspected uh, uh, yung mga detainees nila. Um, so those are the four laws. Ngayon, marami pa kami mga panukala that uh, because of their nature as social reform legislation really has a hard time uh, going through the, the House no? because of 
the house is basically a very conservative institution. Uh, isang example lang itong Whistleblowers Protection Act, uh, which uh, na naipasa lang yan on third and uh, final reading last March. Uh, it, it took me six years before before passed by it got passed by the house. This is the law that gives protection to whistleblowers, mm -hmm. uh, and now it's in the Senate. So hopefully, uh, within within this Congress, it might pass um, uh, and, and then other bills like the repeal of the oil deregulation law. We're pushing for a, a thousand solar rooftops, uh, a million solar rooftops act, uh, and then just. Just uh, today, I, I filed a bill to reduce the value-added tax on oil, water, and power by, by half. So ito yung mga feeling namin kapag naipasa, magkaka-impact sa ating mga mahirap. And uh, that's what we have been focusing on for the last uh, eight years. Okay. Now, uh, mm -hmm. prior to your uh, candidacy for the Senate, ano ba ito? Kailan ba pinafile ito? Uh, December? Um, or? October. Uh, this, ito na, this ito year, October, October na nito. Yeah. Okay, na so by October, malalaman na natin sino talaga mga tatakbo sa Senado, ganun ba? Opa. And the deadline would be when? December or October? Well, the filing is October by October 5. Okay, and the so, uh, deadline? By that time, we'll know. Yun lang, Ay, 1 de, to 5 lang. Meron mga habol dyan sa dulo. 1 to 5 lang. It's October 1 to 5. Ah, 1 to 5 lang, yeah. limang araw lang. Mm -hmm. Okay, now ang question ko nito is, uh, your peers sa bayan muna, sa party list, si na Casatur Ocampo, mm -hmm. si uh, Kalisa Masa. What will you do differently from them that will uh, give you the edge, you know, na makapasok? Ilang bang, ilang bang ibobotong senador? Dalabing dalawa? Dalabing dalawa, may right. nagsasabing labing tatlo, depende on what Miriam Defense Force and Chago does. If she, uh, <laughs> if she okay. re resigns before... before uh, <laughs> Bigla akong napati dun sa pangalan. Uh, but anyway, let's just say 12. Yeah. Let's just say 12. Okay. Pa paano nga makakapasok dyan na yung mga your peers, uh, si uh, Casa Turo Campo and Kalisa Masa, you know, uh, who were in the political scene way mm. before you, mm. hindi sila nakapasok dyan. What will you do differently? that will, uh, you know, ensure or that will give you an, an edge na makapasok naman dito sa 12 na ito, sa 12 uh, na senador? Well, it's, it's really a big challenge. No? Alam mo, mm. usually naman kasi ang nakakapasok sa Senate, yung mga higante sa politika sa ating bansa. No? These are the really big established political names or yung mga artista. <laughs> Ay, uh, sasabihin ko sana. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman tayo artista. Yeah. Mm. And these are people with really a lot of resources. Mm. So para sa akin, it's really, it's, it's really a big challenge, you know. And uh, sabi na natin uh, suntok sa buwan. But I think it's it's a challenge worth uh, fighting uh, because I, I really feel we we need new new voices in the Senate. No, uh, siguro I iba naman, no? Hindi naman yung mga nanggaling sa mga malalaking pamilya ng politika, right. hindi naman yung showbiz. Mm. Probably someone from the party list would be a good addition to the Senate. Kasi Kung sakali, wala pa, no? Wala pa. Wala pa party wala list, pa. nobody's made the transition. Party no, list to... Ngayon, no, no, my question is, Teddy, anong gagawin mo? What did you learn from the experience, from the loss of... Uh, uh, sa senatorial race ni Ocampo and ni Masa. Anong, well, I, 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 mong iba? Yeah. Ang, ang, ang senatorial race kasi we are always oh. told it, it's about name recall. Okay. It's about image. Uh, and it, it's really establishing your, your own machinery. Hindi ka okay. makakaasa sa mga partidong right. na. Oh. And one of the things that you have to do is to start early. No? And that's what I have done na feeling ko hindi nagawa nung time nila sa tour and ah, okay, because okay. the decision came much later. Okay. Pero ngayon pa lang, uh, talagang uh, ang direction namin malinaw that we will go for the Senate in 2013. So we have really gone around, we have talked to uh, many political players, we have talked to many friends, uh, we have uh, uh, did the rounds as, as early as possible. Pero, uh, pero is, that, so, is, that, is that allowed? Di ba merong election period na pwede Hindi, hindi, hindi pa na. naman kami nangangampanya. No, just, but just... Ah, okay, okay. Feelers, feelers. Just, just ah. telling the constituencies ah, okay. ah. na you, may ganito kang plano. Mm -hmm. uh, napakalaking bagay noon. Of course. Uh, and then, of course, uh, double efforts in our media work. Mm -hmm. uh, because, ang sinasabi sa amin, it's really a media game. 
mm. right now. Ang problema ko naman, wala naman ako pang buhos sa mga TV ads. Mm. And you know, very, very expensive TV ads. Pero meron namang cup yan, di ba? I mean, there's a... Wala, wala ng cup. Ah, well, yes, but it, you can only it's spend a so cup much. that you can, everyone goes ah, okay. around with. Okay. So, gets ah. around with. So, we, we really make sure that uh, yung mga positions namin on critical issues are, are always heard. That uh, we are always present in in uh, in the news. Kasi yun ang libre. Mm. Hindi namin kaya magbayad yeah. for, yeah. Yeah. for interviews. Well, yung mga iba na magbayad. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> yun, ang, yun ang laro na hindi namin yeah, kaya. Yeah, eh. so, yeah. so we really, y yung mga legitimate issues. Yeah. Uh, and usually these are issues that really concern our constituencies anyway. So, okay lang. No? And, um, yun. Uh, doing, maximizing the internet because uh, that's the cheapest way yes, to go now. Yes, uh, 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 yan. Uh, at, at lahat na ho pinapatulan namin uh, hanggang uh, coronation ng Miss Gay. Mm. <laughs> Pupuntahan ko really? na yan. Oh, right, right, wala na tayong right. pinagpilit. Yeah, yeah, well, Fiesta right, kahit right, ng barangay, right. yeah. kahit o kasal. Because kahit theoretically, you can win by one vote. Talagang diba? sipag. Uh, yes. it's, it's very tiring. In, in mm. fact, minsan nga nagigising ako, hindi ko na alam kung nasaan ako sa isang lugar. But, but, Mano-mano ang magiging style namin. It, it's for for many senatorial candidates. It's really the air war. It's it's TV ads. It's you know media work. But but because we cannot afford that, mm. we have to go to do the ground war. So it's really networking. It's really talking to the grassroots. Mm. Uh, ang, ang problema lang talaga. It takes a lot of energy. It, it takes a lot of uh, you know per, e extra effort on on the part of the the candidate. Pero, pero ngayon, uh, Teddy, I mean, gagamitin mo na rin, of course. I mean, I think not only you, many candidates will be using the social networking. Yeah. Di ba? Facebook, mm. Twitter, uh, mm. YouTube. Di ba? Kailangan yan, ano? Yes. Na pag uh, tinipe out nila si Nerch ka, Teddy kasi inyo, isang mahabang-mahabang ano lalabas, di ba? Mm. Ngayon, uh, I, I just remembered recently, isa ka daw sa pinaka mahirap sa kongreso. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, net worth, yung sal in. Yes. Di ba? Uh, ano ka ba? Second to the last or third to the last? I am in the bottom third. five. I'm, an, I'm the third, third to the poorest last. congressman. Okay. Magkano ang net I'm, worth? But oh. I'm the fourth most prolific congressman. So, uh, sulit naman, na sulit, sulit naman ang oh, yeah. No, no. Well, no, well, no, no one is looking at, uh, you know, I mean, uh, those nga na tinitingnan na pinakamayaman are, uh, in my mind, no? And, and I think, uh, sa kababayan natin are more suspect. Mm. Di ba? Mm. Yung parang, Wow. Hundreds of millions ka pala, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Sa'yo, magkano nga nakalagay? Nasa 200 plus eh. 200, 200 plus, plus thousand. Plus. Net worth mo, sa salian mo. Right. Sabi nga okay. ng mga kaibigan ko, Teddy, walong taon ko na sa kongreso. Dapat by this time, marami ka ng kotse. Mm. Dapat marami ka ng bahay. Dapat marami ka ng binabahay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because ang, uh, Kasi, ang pork nyo, magkano nga? 60 million a year ba? Yun na nga. Eh, kung ibubulsa mo talaga yung 40% yeah. noon, I mean, yeah. hindi lang talaga. Yeah. <laughs> Millions yan, but yeah. uh, siguro masyado rin malalim yung indoctrination natin sa UP. Uh, ang slogan kasi namin noon, simpleng pamumuhay, puspusang paglilingkod. And I have I've tried to live up to that, uh, to that um, principle. And so, uh, even kami mag-asawa, talagang i-teach our kids na yung simpleng ano lang, simpleng buhay. No? And, and uh, kunin mo lang yung, yung dapat sa'yo, so I just really get my, my salary. And everything else, yung mga allowances, yung mga operational funds, it really goes to where it should go. Right. Uh -huh. So, pwede ka naman pala maging congressman ng hindi... Oh, for sure. ...nang hindi uh, kumikita ng limpak limpak. No, no, and uh, I'm sure marami ka naman kasama ro. Hindi lahat, pero I'm sure marami kang kasama na katulad mo rin ginagawa. Di ba? I mean, who, who are really on the level and who are not thieves, di ba? Meron din. Marami-rami and, and, and we really have to because... Aside from yung personal conviction, uh -huh. yung party ko rin is a very vigilant party. Right, right. Uh, eh kung yung ibang opisyal nga, binabantayan namin yung sarili pa namin right. mga kinatawan sa Okay, so, Teddy, this is, these are very important issues na I think, again, could win or lose votes for you. Uh, what do you intend to do about the insurgency problem itong NPA? I think the, the peace process is the way to go. Mm -hmm. um, I have always believed that we cannot end this through a military, through military action. Uh, para sa akin, uh, very critical yung peace process and, and uh, kailangan mapag-usapan talaga ang problema. Eh. So ang MNLF, um, I suppose, ganun din? Yes, uh, all the armed, armed uh, groups, uh, MILF, MNLF, uh, the CPP, NPA. But, but do, you have any, uh, do you have any 
specific idea on what you're going to do differently in terms of peace talks para talagang matuloy na ito? It, it's, I think it's not a matter of doing things differently but actually doing things. Eh. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the peace process, nakamap out naman yan. Eh. For example, dito sa CPP-NPA, you have uh, a four-stage process. Um, one, one agreement has already been signed, human rights and international humanitarian law. You have your socio-economic uh, reforms, and then your political constitutional reforms, and then your ceasefire and, and disposition of forces. Tingin ko sundan lang yan eh, but it, it really just, I guess, it takes political will for, for, the, for the national government to, to actually do it. Uh, kami ho sa Congreso, we have been always pushing for the resumption of the talks. No, ganun din sa MILF. Uh, kasi hanggat hindi nagkakaroon ng political settlement, tingin ko hindi matatapos eh. Because the, the roots of the conflict are so deep and ever-present that it takes uh, both sides to agree on a, on a settlement to address the issues that have fueled the, the armed conflict. Okay. Now, uh, lastly, ano lang to, isang minuto lang. Anong gagawin, ano bang dapat gawin dito sa conflict naman natin with China regarding mm -hmm. the Panatag Shoal, the Spratlys? Uh, anong approach mo rito? Just one minute because after that, I'm going to give you a so you can pitch your two minutes. <laughs> Ako, it's really still diplomacy and uh -huh. uh, very creative uh, diplomatic work gathering the international opinion in our favor. Uh, hindi ho not, the, the worst thing that we can do is to bring in the United States and fight, <laughs> fight our war for uh -huh. us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, this is a matter between us and China, between ASEAN and China. Let's keep it that way. Pero paghusayan lang natin sa diplomasya at saka yung uh, really getting the support of the international community. So parang hindi ba natin ginagawa yun ngayon? Tingin ko kulang. Ah, kulang. Kasi nga, parang Amerika. yung Amerikano kagad ang pinapasok natin. But yeah. I think that complicates things. Okay. So uh, we have a couple of minutes more left and uh, I'm sure medyo kulang in time, two minutes to address the Filipino people. But then uh, I'd like you to uh, address them. Kung ano man ang message mo sa kanila. Uh, especially regarding uh, your coming bid for the Senate, which is actually started. No, which is actually started. So, there you go. <laughs> Teddy. Thanks, Jerry. Well, pe people say that I'm an unlikely candidate for the Senate. No, wala po akong political pedigree. Uh, I don't have the millions to spend on my campaign. Uh, and uh, I, I, I'm pushing for a reform agenda that is basically... Uh, goes against a lot of the big interests that uh, are present in society. But I think it's not really, it's, it's not just about me. It's really about the advocacies that uh, are needed to be aired in the Senate. No? And particularly itong problema ng napakataas na presyo ng mga bilihin, I think government should really do something about it. Uh, just on the value-added tax, ang um, problema natin, eh, lalo pa natin pinahihirapan ng ating mga kababayan by imposing a VAT on already high power and uh, electricity rates and, and oil and, and water. So these are the kinds of reforms that I think uh, someone should push in the Senate. And uh, that's what we have been doing for the last uh, eight years in Congress. I think there is enough room in Senate for, for new voices and for new advocacies. At yan po yung ating uh, gusto mangyari. Okay, Teddy, one last thing. Ano ba ang partido sa samahan mo nga pala? Because you have to join a political party. Napag-usapan na natin yan. That's a political reality. Yes. Saan ba, yes. ano bang, uh, nakumbida na ka na ba na meron ka na bang official uh, party? Well, uh, ako po, may sarili na akong partido, yung Makabayan Coalition. Okay. And, um, ang maganda nga dito, probably of all the senatorial candidates, mm -hmm. I'm the only one that really has a grassroots uh, network at this point. Mm -hmm. Uh, kasi yung mga party listen dyan, mga NGOs, mga people's organizations, but uh, they say that it's not enough because you really have to coalesce with the major major national political parties. So, so will you we're still to open to that. Uh -huh. uh, discussions are uh, being made. Um, so anyway, maaga pa naman, we'll see what happens to these. Uh, to these Pero anong uh, tendency mo? Saan ka kaya eventually? Where would you rather be? Would you rather be with a group of the administration o itong una? As of now? Um, as of now kasi hindi mo malaman, wala namang opposition talaga ngayon eh. It, it's both, both uh, coalitions are, are pro-administration. Uh, but mukhang mas masikip doon sa LP coalition. So you have the uh, UNA coalition here. Uh, but titinan ho natin. Okay. Um, 
we are open to coalitions. Depende yan sa mapag-uusapan and, and what the right. points of unity are. Okay, well, it's only, uh, it's only uh, months, several months pa bago mag... Uh, Bago mag-file pala, no? At saka, may, medyo malayo daw pa 2013. But, but, but an option yeah. all, mm. an option is always to, to run as an independent. Okay. And people are telling me that might be the way to go kasi wala kang bagahe. No? Mm. Hindi mo bagahe yung, uh, yung mga issues on traditional politics or yung mga uh, uh, alliances of convenience. Okay. So, that, that's really a, a, an option for us. So, You've heard, the, you've heard the man, Congressman uh, Teddy Casino, party list representative, at uh, Bayan Muna party list representative. And uh, hopefully uh, within the next uh, few weeks, the next few months, even before the filing of candidacy, we will uh, be inviting uh, guests here who will also be running for the Senate. But uh, because we'd like to, uh, we'd like you to know them, you know, beforehand. Para ganun, eh, maaga pa lang mag-isip-isip mag na kayo, hindi yung... Pagando na yung eleksyon, tsaka kayo pipili. Ano? I mean, go for the record and uh, go for the reputation of the person. So with that, maraming salamat, Congressman Teddy, uh, Senator Casino. Ganda pakinggan, <laughs> ano? Ha? All right. So thank you very much for staying with us during the past hour. And with the grace of God, we'll be back next week uh, on Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.